Okay, hey guys, thank you for tuning in to my channel here. I'm going to do a Lolo Love read for 2023, rolling on to 2024. Okay, Libras, I'm also going to check your chakras here to see what needs to kick out there. And I'm going to pick up six cards for you to read on your love read because six is representing love, okay? So I'm going to see what your chakras are first, okay? All right, Libras, here I'm going to get a feel of this here. Libras, 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 I'm going to Libras. I'm sorry it's kind of wild. Here, Libras, Libras, all one, a lot of vibe here, talking. All right, Libras, I'm getting a vibe. Yours is your, your base and your throat chakra, okay? So we're going to check this out first. Okay, your throat chakra is basically <clears throat> focusing on your thyroid here. So um, pay attention to your thyroid, your gland here, and it's also having something to say. Like maybe you want to say something, you want to speak on something, you're trying to keep it to yourself. You don't want any conflict here. You don't like that. You ain't harmonizing. So this is about your thyroid and your speaking voice here. So check on that here. And you also have your base chakra here. Your base chakra is your earth element here. It's dealing with your stress levels here, okay? Make sure you keep that together because I feel like you guys are... Um, dealing with money, house things, your bills, or something like that. So take care of that. And make sure you're aligned that, balance that out. Okay. You're aligned to go into your love read here. It's going to be six cards. Okay. Because like I said, it's not the same love. Right. All right. Let's do this here for Leo. Sorry, it's a little loud here. Leave us here. Let's see what we got. Okay. So far, you got three, and we need three more. All right, and let's see. You need one more here, and so far, your cards look great here. Oh, it's my foot. Okay, let's start off here. I'm going to show you the cards, okay? I'm going to show you. This is authority figure, okay? This is dealing with wealthy, okay? Some of you are dealing with someone who is an authority figure. Just a second. Some of you are dealing with an authority figure person here. It could be your husband. It could be um, someone that's more, I don't know if they're bringing in more of the money or something like that here. It's like both of you are very high strong here. But this person is dealing with more responsibility. I feel like you're, it's weighing on you a little bit. It's like you want to put your first foot forward here. And this person is, I don't know if they're not trusting you or something. Something happened with the, something with money or something was going on or a bill or something. And you want to say something. That's why your your um, your chakra with your speaking voice, your throat came out because it's like you want to say something, but you don't want to cause any conflict here. You can't keep walking on eggshells in your home here. There's some kind of way that you can do this here because I feel like you do this all the time. It's like an up and down thing for you, and that's why you're always chomping on the gun like what? Or you're thinking someone's saying something about you, and it's really not the case. It's the, you need to make some. Um, Get yourself out there to where you you have some kind of control of something. I don't know if this person doesn't trust you, have faith in you to do something. I don't know if you did something before. Because we all make mistakes, you know. You get credit cards, spend money, or something like that. And you feel like you want to have a say-so in something here, okay? You don't want them speaking for you. So you guys need to work on that here because I feel like that's a little problem here. And that's what causes conflict here going back on yourself. Because sometimes you guys go to yourself. And you start thinking about um, what you can do to harmonize this situation here. You shouldn't have to do this alone. That's why you get that, that throat chakra there. You shouldn't have to do this alone. You guys should talk about this together here. And not this person talking at you, which you need to squash that too. So I feel like it's something almost clashing almost, but it's in silent mode. Um, yeah, you have to... Squeeze yourself into that here. Because if you guys are working as a couple or something like that, or you're co-parenting or something, you still should have some say-so in this here. Whether this person makes more money than you or not, or popular, or whatever the case may be here, or taking care of all the business here, you're still in this together with this spiritual union here. Okay? You're still together with this here. So you have to work together here. You, you see how their minds are they're working together here with this. To, to build this prosperity here, to build this. You see the cup is not full here. I know this is not the cup card, but it's spiritual union here. Something is not keeping this relationship. It's kind of, it's together, but it's together when you're dealing with, um, 
probably going out, dealing with family, dinner, material things, stuff like that, or if it's something like a getting, buying, purchasing something, it's not dealing with what's at hand when it's time for something, dealing with um, something serious. It's like this person, it's like they try to outweigh you, like their way is right, and it came down with this authority figure. And you have to have some say so and then you take yourself back like something's wrong nothing's wrong with you here it just how the way you guys came about in your relationship and what was said and what was going to be done with the boundaries limitations what was going to be done and it probably wasn't said here that's why you guys are not growing together it's like material things keep you together here you know it's not what's at hand like the seriousness of life you guys don't do that it's like you guys are almost the same person, but this person is, I'm going to go by what I said. What, yeah, I'm going to go by what I said, because I don't believe you. It's like when you're almost saying that you might go to yourself here. You can't do that. You can't keep doing this here to yourself, Libra, because what's going to happen, you're going to start feeling wobbly there and feeling unbalanced with yourself. Your spirituality and everything is going to drop. Like, it's meaningless. It's not meaningful when it is. It's just that you don't like seeing this to this person because you don't like the conflict of it. Maybe this person is in a household full of people a lot and they, all they did was talk at each other. Or maybe they weren't talking. This person feels like if they talk up, um, if they talk more, they're going to be hurt now because they never was hurt. That's why I said... Dealing with relationships, you don't know how these people were raised or their experience in life here. And that's what you guys need to talk about. Because you have to have a say-so in this too. Because like I said, you guys are working together, right? Right. You know? And you want to find that person if you're single like that too. You want to make sure you harmonize things. That's how you are here. And this is wisdom here. Learning about a person. Learning about yourself. How you deal with relationships. How you deal with people here. You know, maybe you're doing too much giving and giving and you're not receiving back. You need to start giving to yourself. And I don't mean buying and purchasing things. I mean accepting who you are and your beliefs are, you know, and try to fit them in there somewhere. You know, you're important too because I'm sure you're taking on something responsible, responsible there. You want to have a say-so on things here. You don't like walking on eggshells and keeping quiet because you start going back and forth with yourself here. You don't want to do that here. You guys need to talk here. I don't know what type of person you're dealing with here, but um, you guys need to talk. If you're going to make this long term here, I don't know how old you guys are, but if you're going to make this long term, you got to work together with this here, with this love begins here. That's when love is, because it's like the love is not there anymore It for some of you. It's like it's it's there, but it's not showing. It's just showing with material stuff and let's go out and do this, but it's not together. Like you guys are looking at each other. You're not people go out to dinner and they look at each other in the eyes. You guys probably haven't done that in a while either. And it's almost scary to like you're going to strike them almost if you do, if you look at them like that, because a lot of things have happened. A lot of things have probably have happened to you in your life for you to get to this point here, working together, making this last long like flow here. And it's like people are almost seeing it when they come visit your house or when you talk about this person. It's like you're almost seeing that, oh boy, this is not working out. You guys have to work out your differences. Relationships have their ups and downs. Things happen. Things are not going to be perfect just because you guys have a nice house, a nice home, a nice car, and you guys are holding hands. You guys still, things are going to come up. You guys have to learn how to work, learn how to work together. You know, with this, with this wisdom card here. And this is trapped in fear. You're probably dealing with someone like this who's probably dealing with a situation they don't know how to deal with. When they're not going to talk to you about it. You just see them like this and it's scary. You almost don't. It's like you're going to say, are you okay? And then they're not trusting you with that either. Oh, you don't care. You're just saying that. You're like, okay, you know, forget I even said it. You shouldn't have to deal with that here. I don't know how you're going to show this person that you care. Because it seems like this person is very high strong here. Whoever this person that you're dealing with here. It's like they like, I got it. No, it's not that you have it. We're together like a team here. We're working together here. 
I'm not telling you to talk to them like that because I don't know what type of person you're dealing with and I don't want to cause anything here. Um, but um, I'm getting this from this person. There's a lot going on here. They need to talk about it. And, the, and like I said, it's good to learn a person before you marry them or do something with it because you don't know what type, like I said, their childhood or anything was where they never got a chance to talk or they were always put in a corner. You don't know what's going on here. And that's probably why you probably you probably can sense that you shouldn't say nothing, but it's going to be that time where you're going to have to say something, Libra. You're going to have to do that here because I don't know. This could be you too, not you like trapped in fear. This person probably has something going on with them where they feel like something's going to happen to them or something. I get, or something's not working out, and you feel like you're the person that can talk to them, but you can't come to them because they don't want you to know I'm feeling like this. Like, they don't trust you to tell you for some reason. You feel like you're all about your stuff because you got to look at how you are. Your family and everything comes first. You, you beautify things, you're harmonizing things, and some things you leave out in your home. And they probably watched you go on trips and do all kinds of things here. And then when something serious happened, then they feel like, no, you don't have time for me. It's like they're doing that. And that's why they're dealing with this by themselves. And it's about time you take care of your home first. I'm not saying all of you are like that. But it's time to take care of your home, Libra. It's time to look at your home life. Your home life. And I said this before in another video. I don't know if you guys looked at it. Okay? It's time to take care of your home and get that together. And that's when the blessings and the goodness is going to start. When you take care of your home front. Your friends, your co-workers, your grandkids, and nieces, and all that stuff. Yeah, Christmas is coming up. But you have to take care of your home here. I feel like something is being left out. Something is not. It's too much going out showing things. I'm not saying you're doing that, but it's too much of that. Your home front, something is, is shifting here. And it needs to be taken care of. I don't mean immediately, but be aware of it. And I'm sure you are. And take care of that thing. It's got you. You like harmonizing things, right? You like putting, getting things together and stuff. Well, you need to work on your home front here and get that together. And things are going to work out great. Okay? And, um, I think I did you. Yeah. I did your throat, your throat chakra. You know? It's probably time for you to start speaking up. Because things are going to start progressing. Because in your 2024, Okay? Um, what's going to happen is you're going to, you have to, something's going to bring you guys close together. I don't know if it's, a, if it's a grandchild, I don't know if it's a child that's going through something, or one of you are going through something here, or a family thing, but something's going to bring you guys close together in 2024, and it's going to have to happen. That's why I said the talk of you guys working together needs to be, met. well, I'm not saying me, at least try to get it in for now. So you can roll over to the year, you guys can work together as a team, and things are going to look more beautiful and brighter for you guys. Okay. Oh, because I'm getting a sense of someone is doing something like tit for tat thing. Well, I'm going to do this and you're going to do that. I want to do this and you're going to do that. That's not a relationship. That sounds like some like childhood love crush. Oh, it doesn't sound like a relationship as adults. Okay. I'm sure Libras, you guys can do this and work this out. That's if you want to stick with this. Because I feel like some of you want to stick with this long term, which is how the way you're dealing with this. Is how the way you're dealing with this situation here. With this person. That's why I said it's good to, it's good to get... I haven't put two together. It's good to get to know the person before you... Get a ring on it or move in with I don't like to move in with anyone. I really don't. But if you move in or whatever, have a child, whatever. You know, get to know the person. Get to know the person, not just their past, hanging out with their friends, but their how they were raised. You know, it's gonna pop up in a conversation anyway, but listen and find out, you know, about how they were with their mother, their father, because certain things people do is pertaining to their experience in their life. It's not nothing personal with you all the time. Not, well, not with Libra. You know, it's nothing personal. Just how they 
to do to respond to things in our home because I'm how they how their family was, okay? Have to understand it and then how you respond to things. You guys work on it here. It's gonna help your relationship. And even if you guys are looking for a new relationship, it's gonna help that out. So learn about people here. Because you like harmonizing things and some people like doing things separate or something or thinking off to themselves here and you're like, did I do something? It's like you're saying that to yourself here and you don't know. They just have the way they do it here. But you guys need to talk about that here. Just try to find the time or whatever. It might just come up. A lot of people don't like praying for things to happen, but, you know, it is going to happen for you. Okay? You guys just take care of your home front. That's the whole main key of this love for you. Take care of your home front and make sure things are harmonized and beautified and make sure that person feel that you too. Okay? All right. Do something different. You know, do something that's sweet or something different, okay? All right. If this person is really harsh, make them feel sweet. <laughs> All right? All right. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Tune in to my channel. Yeah. Tune in to my channel. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.